What's up, what's up everybody? Oh, Ryan here coming at you guys with another reaction video. I was gonna just say another Elipita song, but yes, we are checking out another Elipita video today. I love this guy's finger picking stuff that he does. His covers, his covers are amazing. We've checked out quite a few of them. If you guys do wanna see some other stuff that you haven't seen from my reaction channel, obviously the links are in the description below. Go check them out, there's lots of uh, reactions on it and I've been loving this guy. Everything that this guy's doing is awesome. This guy's playing with a recorder, he sticks it in his foot, he, he sings in some of the stuff. Uh, and yeah, I've been very impressed with it. And you know what, from you guys in the comments and you know, kinda connecting with you guys on a personal level, what I'm kind of finding out is that this guy is definitely just one for just being okay of this just being his hobby. Not making any money, not doing anything further and above with his music career. He truly just loves playing for himself and just making YouTube videos like this. It's not like he has professional gear or anything like that. He, he probably just has a computer. One plug in, blah, 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 and just fucking goes for it. So that's what I'm really excited about this guy. Checking out what he does, you know, kind of knowing more about his lifestyle and everything like that. So I'm really excited to check this one out. So today we're checking out Sweet Child O oh Mine. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited. This is a uh, Guns N' Roses cover. So yes, I, I know the song. Definitely know this song. I can't say that I don't know Guns N' Roses. I feel like everyone does know this song. But hey, if you haven't heard this, I'm sure you guys need to go check out that song. But other than that, guys, if you do like what you see here, like, comment, subscribe, would mean the world to me, guys. Uh, yeah, you guys have been amazing with that, especially just hitting that like button and obviously turning on that notification bell so you guys know when the next reaction video drops. You guys have been all over these reaction videos, so I appreciate every single one of you. We just crossed over 20,000 subscribers, you alippers. Alipers, Alipers, Alipakers, whatever you want to call yourself. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. Anyways, without further ado, guys, let's fucking get into it, buds. Of course he's gonna start off like this. Oh, here we go. This is what this guy does. I, <laughs> it gets me every time. He likes to play like every single part of the instrument, even like to the point of like the singing notes on the guitar all at once. And it's crazy. I don't know. I, I just can't take the time to learn that. And I'm sure you guys know this from the previous videos that you've seen with my reactions, but I just love it. I love the the, the time and energy that this guy literally spends. Like does this, does this guy have kids? Does he have like other stuff? in his life that might stop him from doing this stuff. I just, I would like to know that. I don't know why, just, this guy is amazing. I just I just like how he does this stuff and the, the creativity, I suppose, is the right word of saying it in terms of uh, playing this on a guitar. It's really neat and I'm sure this song is gonna sound amazing the way that he plays it. Even the, like, he's just, he, he hits that note and he blocks it. I swear to God, if this guy starts singing this song, I will probably shit my pants. I don't know why, I just... The way he did Toxicity was amazing. I loved his voice in it. So I feel like he could really do a good job with it in this song as well. But yeah, getting to uh, the point where he's like actually just finger tapping, I guess, the way, uh, you know, the leads over this. And he's actually like plucking the song or plucking the note as he's leaving the, uh, the note. So it's really cool that he's doing that and obviously playing the bass parts. Or the other guitar parts it was, because like, do, 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 or was it the bass part? I can't remember. Frig, man, it's been quite some time since I've actually 
listen to a song from Guns N' Roses. I don't listen to a lot of Guns N' Roses. I don't know a whole lot, but I know their main stuff. So to hear this song like this, I think I know it enough to know that, or at least I should. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But this is really cool so far. But yeah, again, if he starts singing in this, ah, I might die. <laughs> No, but he'll start playing it with the guitar. he's using the top string usually he's like hitting the side of his guitar with his pinky finger when he's strumming but he's actually like keeping you know count or on uh, on timing with the top string because I noticed he was on the top string and it wasn't making that k -k kind of sound and yeah I think it's really neat this is it's really good so far I don't really know how much to say about this song so far but I just think it's really cool how he's playing this the leads over this Again, I think I said it in the last video, it might have been for the Linkin Park song. Um, the way that he's playing the leads, it's like, maybe you just know this song so well that, you know, it, it sounds like he's playing those parts, like singing it with his guitar. Or maybe I just know the song that well that I can hear it in my head. I don't know what it is, I don't know what it is. Or is that actually the leads? Now that I think about it, I'm sure it is the leads. But it goes with it. It just fucking goes with it. It sounds so good. Okay, who else is singing this song right now as you're watching this? It's literally what's going through my head right now. It's just the whole song. And I don't even know the lyrics that well to even like start singing it on here. But like, man, I love how he actually like changed up those leads a little bit. I don't know what it is. It's just, he just came down like just higher on the neck maybe. Ah, fuck. I really should have listened to this song before reacting to this just so I can kind of like recap on the actual song um but i feel like it's just is this shorter than the original song did he take some of the stuff out i just feel like sweet child of mine would be like more of like a five minute song could be wrong i could be wrong i'm not really a, a gnr fan to say that so i'm loving it though i just man the way that he dresses he just he's he's just himself like he's in his the same place like probably where he started making these videos that same sign on the back with all the numbers and everything, the same guitar, like I'm sure he could probably make, like even just his YouTube views and like uh, all the money he's probably, he's probably made off of like the, uh, what's it called? The ad revenue, he could probably buy a new guitar and stuff like that, but like, it just feels like this guy is just so humble that, again, he just, that's all he cares about is just playing this, as a hobby, he doesn't want to do it as a career, and he's apparently he's like a tow, a tow lift driver or something like that for, I don't know what he what it's for or what it, where, he, where he works kind of thing. But I just love how humble he is. You know what I mean? It's just crazy because like a lot of people just want that fame and everything and just you know rake in whatever they can get. But honestly, the way that these like record labels work, this guy would probably get broken down and just. He wouldn't love it anymore, as much as he does now. So I think it's really cool that he just stays the way that he is. It's crazy. It is actually crazy.
Like, I think he still has that cigarette thing on the side there, too. Oh, like, he's just enjoying it. Oh, that bend. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I was gonna say, I'm like, you know what? This isn't, like, anything crazy. Because like, I know this guy can play. This guy can play so well, but, like... And I feel like he's just about to go into something that's gonna be like, oh my god, mind blowing about how this guy's actually playing this part. But like, I just feel like it's just one of those songs where it's like nice and chill and relaxing. You know, you don't have to do anything crazy to you. And I feel like that's how he's playing it now as well. But if he gets into something crazy right now, it would be really cool. But oh, I was just gonna say something. I can't remember how it is. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, he was just. You can see him. You can see his reaction to just playing. He's in the moment. He is feeling it. Like, the soul of this song is literally coming out of his body and just playing it. Not not a care in the world of what else is going out. Like, whatever else is going out there in the world. Maybe he's got some problems at home or something like that. I'm not saying he does, but, like... That's what I mean. The music, the music just heals the soul. If you guys agree with me, comment down below. Like that's that's what's up. That's why I love music. That's why I like seeing stuff like this. There he goes, he knows, he knows it's... Oh wait, I know there's a solo part coming up here. And it's gonna wreck us, okay guys? Are you guys even ready? Cause I'm not. I, I just remember the song as we're like kind of listening to it, it's like... Something like that. I'm pretty sure I nailed that. Rate that right now, down in the comments. Rate it out of 10. That was probably a three. <laughs> I'm excited to see where this fucking solo goes right at the end here though. If he wrecks it, yeah, he'll wreck it. I think he's just going to. That's not what I expected. I thought for sure he was just gonna like rip a fucking crazy solo like he did in that Linkin Park thing. He just like went up the scale and just really ripped it. Oh, that wasn't that. But it sounded really cool though. Yeah, that's still really cool though. He changed it up. <laughs> I fucking love this guy. Oh shit. Okay, 10 out of 10. That was a great cover. Like, it was just so chill. It wasn't like anything above and beyond, which I thought it was going to be, but I'm glad that, you know, it it wasn't. And I think I, I really am glad that it wasn't is because I've seen all of his other songs. Well, not all of them. We still have tons and tons of covers to cover. But the way that he played it, it was just, it was chill. It was, I feel like it was like one of those moments like he's like, I know the song, I know how to play it. I played it a few, like I played it a few hundred times probably. And you know what, let's throw on the camera and let's play something and throw it up on YouTube because I love what I do. This thing is like, this was done in February of 2020 and it's already got like 3.3 million views. I know it's a popular song and I know he's a popular, you know, guitar player in in the acoustic world kind of thing, especially on YouTube. Um, it, it's cool, it's just really cool to see that, that he, you know, it's just a regular play for him more than like just being technical and being all fancy and stuff. So I think it's really that's the, you know, that humble side of him to do that. I think it's really cool. 
Anyways, that's probably enough time we're gonna spend on this video, guys. Thank you so much for checking it out. If you guys do wanna see some more Alipita covers, reactions, and stuff like that on this channel, obviously comment down below. What song should I be checking out next? I can't remember what the other one was uh, that I think we're gonna do next. Uh, I think it had to do with something with coffee or something like that. I can't remember what it is. I don't even like coffee, but we'll check out the song. We will check out the song. Really enjoyed it. His finger style always blows my mind. And he's just, I just love, I think I love more about how humble this guy is, about how he's, uh, you know, taking this YouTube approach, if you know what I mean. It's crazy, it's crazy. I, I just blows my mind every single time. Big shout out to my Patreons, and thank you so much for everything that you guys are doing, helping out with the channel, being there supporting. It means the world to me, especially in the tough times that is uh, kind of going on right now. I had to buy a new car, blew my motor and everything like that, so it kind of sucked. Yeah, it kind of sucked. Until next time, guys, toodaloo, motherfuckers. Toodaloo.